सदाशिव समारंभम शंकराचार्यमुद्धमम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यंतम वंदे गुरुपरंपरां श्रुति स्मृति पुराणानां आलयं करुणालयं नमामि भगवत पादं शंकरं लोकशंकरं शंकरं शंकराचार्यं केशवं बादरायणं सूत्रभाष्यकृतौ वंदे भगवन्तौ पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवद्व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सहनावतु सहनमुन सह वीर करवाहै तेजस्वी नवदी तमस्तुमाशावी ओं शांत शांत शांति नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव मंड श्यांत मे लोका सप्तद्वीपाच मे दिए धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीवाख्यातमुच्य प्रकृतिकृत्सबंतादिधातु ब्रह्मात्म नम So looking at the fifth chapter, Sangati Bhashya, and the question which was raised was uh, when it is said that Karma Yoga and Sanyasa, when one of these has to be chosen, which is better? This is Arjuna's thinking, and thereby he is asking the question in the first shloka. Puro Pakshi asked him as to how is it that uh, when Sanyasa is for a Jnani, and karma yoga is for an ajnani this kind of a question is invalid it is untenable how how can that, this question be right so there the explanation was given as from your perspective maybe it isn't right but it is a valid question from arjuna's perspective because he thinks that sanyasa is a choice for an ajnani also and you have seen detailed arguments as detailed explanation as to why it is so then uh, then the question is now whether uh, when karma yoga the answer also says the same thing that one among the two you have to tell me so and in the answer he is saying karma yoga is better than jnana yoga now the question is whether karma yoga is better than jnana yoga for a jnani or for an ajnani so there we last in the last part we concluded by seeing that jnani does not have any karma and karma yoga needs kartrutva and uh, there's a karma bhasa first of all for a jnani karma is karma bhasa and in karma yoga kartrutva bhava has to be there thereby one can uh, see that there is chitta shuddhi which is lacking and he one can gain chitta shuddhi for chitta shuddhi one can do karma but jnani is karma is karma bhasa and he has no kartrutva thereby is viruddha to say that jnani has to do karma yoga yeah, for jnani karma yoga is an, is an impossibility thereby it was concluded that the karma yoga which is talked about is not for jnani it is talked for ajnani and uh, for jnani there is no choice of karma yoga at all it is only sanyasa as a choice for him and it is but natural then the question was asked whether uh what is impossible now you say that it is impossible for a jnani to have uh, karma yoga and sanyasa so the question was whether sanyasa is impossible or karma yoga is impossible so we landed on that that karma yoga is impossible because karma is not there sanyasa is definitely possible because it's a natural effect of an asanga atma asanga atma which does not have any kartrutva bhuktutra bhava thereby jnani what will he do sanyasa is but natural to jnani then we saw why it was analyzed as to why it is asambhava ityadi and now we landed on this part where it is said atra uchyate atma vidha nivrutta mithya jnanatva viparya jnana mulasya karma yogasya asambhavasya there is impossibility for an atma with for a jnani due to he is being nivrutta mithya jnana he is a person who he is free from this mithya jnana whereby mithya jnana is one atasmin tad buddhi in what is anatma uh, anatma su atma buddhi that is mithya jnana and that is nivrutta he does not have any kosha sambandha as atma tadatma sambandha is not with any of the kosha thereby viparye jnana murasya karma yogasya asambhavasya where there is a vipar vipari ja jnana that i am karta bhukta i am a shariri i have this sharira there is a tadatmya sambandha with manaha where chitta shuddhi is lacking all that is viparya and thereby 
that has to be held on for karma yoga held on in the sense there is no uh, purposeful holding on it is naturally there for an ajnani janmaadi sarva vikriya rahitatve nishkriyam atmano atmate niveti tasya atmida samyak darshana apasta mithya jnana se nishkriya atma swarupa avasthani lakshanam sarva karma sanyasa muktva tad viparita se mithya jnana mula kartrutva abhimana purasara ಪುರಸ್ಸರಸ್ಯಕ್ರಿಯಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಸ್ಯಕರ್ಮಯೋಗಸೇಗೀತಾಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಸ
or one thinks of oneself as a killer both do not know that was said there and jnani does not think that i can kill anyone or i can be killed thereby karma bhava is shown veda vinashinam nityam further it was said in the same section continuing there veda vinashinam nityam avinashinam nityam avinashinam veda so know this to be avinashi tattva nityam meaning whenever there is karma there is some change and change if there is a change then there will be nasha also another vikara out of the shad vikaras you agree with one vikara it will lead to other vikaras also therefore if you know this atma to have no vikara at all avinashi that kind of atma cannot have any karma ityado tatra tatra atma vidaha karma bhava uchyate there itself it has been said wherever the atma lakshana has been talked about as avinashi uh, avinashinam uh, not ahantara ityadi all that is what that is all swarupa of the atma with one who knows atma swarupa he knows his own nature not someone else is there by karma bhava has been talked about for atma which is for atma with also there is no difference between the two thereby karma bhava uchyate tatra tatra nanucha karma yoga api atma swarupa nirupana pradesheshu tatra tatra pratipadyate eva now the puro pakshi is saying you are being very selective you are talking about atma swarupa nirupana pradesha but you are picking hand picking some shlokas but there are other shlokas also which talk about karma yoga as possible for an atma with nanucha see look here karma yoga also api atma swarupana atma swarupa nirupana pradesheshu tatra tatra pratipadyate eva there itself atma swarupa what you are talking about where atma swarupa is talked about and it is explained very well there uh, this karma yoga is also talked about tadyatha and he quotes why only you can quote i can also quote in the same section i'll quote you in the second chapter you have picked 217 and 218 now let me show you two uh, you have picked 217 to 219 let me show you 218 which you skipped so puro pakshi is pointing out you bypass 18 why did you go from 17 to 19 18 is sitting right there tasma yuddha swabharat yes said you fight swadharma api chaveksha further in 31 swadharma api chaveksha looking at your own dharma kshatriya dharma you have to fight and further what karmanya vadikaraste in 47 he says in karma alone you have adhikara ityadau see he is partially quoting what is the shloka saying karmani ev adhikaraste not in phala na to phaleshu phaleshu adhikara nasti that has nothing to do with this section here where atma vit is being talked about and karmani ev adhikarasti is really not proving the puro pakshi's point of view but he is picking up a part of shloka just trying to bring an argument there and trying to support his view so it has also been talked about but what has bhagwan said it is for arjuna that he is saying karma yoga you are fit for karma yoga therefore you follow tasma yudhyasva and swadharma also you follow swadharma it is not for a jnani arjuna is not a jnani but somehow puro pakshi has either not understood or he has lost perspective he is confused there atascha katham atma vidaha karma yogasya asambhava syaditi then how do you say that for atma vit karma yoga is not possible how do you say that because such lokas are also there atra uchyate and uh, to that effect answer is given by bhagwan bhashyakara he says samyak jnana mithya jnana tatkarya virodha we already said this the section that you are quoting is the same section all right but even in that as we have told in the introduction there you have to do viveka as to which is applicable to whom because samyak jnana and mithya jnana and their respective karyas have virodha samyak jnana one who has is a jnani he cannot the atma with he cannot have mithya jnana there is a virodha then samyak jnana means that he is not a karta mithya jnana means he is a karta then samyak jnana tatkarya is what karma yoga or karma is not possible 
मिथ्या ज्ञाना मीन्स वॉट करता आई एम आई एम करता देर फॉर कार्य इज पॉसिबल सम्यक ज्ञान कार्य इज दैट कार्य इट से कर्मा इज नॉट पॉसिबल देर इज अ विरोधा बिटवीन दी टू एट ऑल लेवल्स देर इज अ विरोधा देर फॉर ज्ञान योग इन संख्या नाम देर इज अ डिविजन विच हैज बीन मेड विच यू सीम टू हैव लॉस साइट ऑफ ज्ञान योग इन संख्या नाम इसे In the third chapter, he says the division is that for sankhyas, for jnanis, there is jnana yoga as the marga. Ityane na sankhya naam, atma tattu vidam. Who are the sankhyas? Don't get confused. Sankhyas are atma tattu vid. They for them, for atma tattu vid, those who know the real sorup of atma as advaita ekamiva dvitiya asangha akriya atma akriya ha. For that kind of a person or for those kind of people jnani is atma with anatma with kartruka karma yoga karma yoga nishthataha nishkriyatma swarupa avasthan lakshanaya ha jnana yoga nishthaya ha prutak karana what has been done from the, for them for sankhyas there is a prutak karana which has been done there is a separation done separation of what jnana yoga nishtha jnana yoga nishtha has been taught from them in their marga there is a separation done from what from anatma with kartruka karma yoga nishthataha so this panchami from this these are separated out there is a separation done of these what is that not these it is a single thing jnana yoga nishtha jnana yoga nishtha has been separated for atma tattva with sankhyas and what is this jnana yoga nishtha it is nishkriya atma swarup avasthan lakshana it is that which is nishkriya atma swarup avasthan lakshana jnana yoga nishtha is being in that atma for which kriya is not there that is its swarupa that is my swarupa thinks the jnani knows the jnani that i am that atma which has no kriya and it is staying in this is my what is prescribed for me that is what is the chalk path for me for a sankhya for an atma tattva with thereby it has been separated the path from what from the nishtha of anatma with and what is the anatma with nishtha kartruka karma yoga anatma with kartruka karma yoga what the karma yoga done by anatma with and in that he has nishtha is committed to karma yoga for chitta shuddhi that Uh, that is separate and this is separate for jnana yoga sankhya uh, through jnana yoga sankhya's path is separated out from karma yoga path of an ajnani and they what else krita kartya krita kartyatvena atmavidah prayojana antara bhava another reason given second reason is what for an atma atmavidah is a krita kartya he does not have anything to attain neither chitta shuddhi nor moksha because he has already attained it jnana jnanam jnanena moksha and then jnana eva moksha jnanam eva moksha thereby what krita kritya he is and krita kritya atma vidaha prayojana antara bhavat anya prayojanam prayojana antaram tasya abhavat there is no other purpose therefore what he remains in his swarupa that alone swarupa avasthan lakshana nishtha nishtha is that which is characterized by being in your own nature being means what withdrawing is being withdrawing from anything else is being in yourself there is no separate effort of being neti neti prakriya i am i am not a karta i am not a bhokta i am neither the sharira nor a shariri really i am separate from all of this and thereby i am a mere witness as long as there is a witness witnessed as long as anything is witnessed so long i remain a witness separate asanga but i am neither the witness nor the witness because as long as there is witness so long i am a witness when the witness drops about with mithyatma nischaya there is nothing to see there is nothing separate from me all that is just a kalpana thereby i remain in my own swarupa which is not a witness at all it is just a name tag thereby he is krita kritya and he has no other prayojana no other rather no prayojana he just exists that's it so tas, that is another reason then what tasya karyam navidyate iti kartavyantara bhava vachana ch 
not only prayojana is not there, he has no kartavyata also. There is, if you say, okay, he has no purpose, but he has to do it, it is a duty, prescribed duty. No, he has no prescribed duty. Therefore, tasya karyam navidyati is another third reason given. Jnaninaha atmavidaha karyam navidyate. And thereby what has been said? Kartavyattum nasti. Anya kartavyattum nasti. What is a kartavyattum? Not doing anything is being universal. That is that is only kartavyattum left. As a vidhi or not as a vidhi, it is a swarupa. Fourth reason, the karmana manarambhat, sannyasastu mahabhav, dukkham aptuma yogataha, ityadinacha, atma jnanam gatvena karma yoga se vidhanat. Karma yoga is atma jnananga. It is a subsidiary to atma jnana. It is leading to atma jnana. It is facilitating atma jnana. After atma jnana has taken place, you don't need the subsidiary. You don't need the supporting karma. Thereby, karma yoga is, is, is taught as subsidiary to atma jnana. How? Ityadina. Sorry. How? Ityadina. Through what? Through na karmana manarambhat. So, without doing karma, you cannot sit doing anything else. So, that is not right. Therefore, karma has to be done by an ajnani. For chitta shuddhi, sanyasastu mahabhav, he mahabhav, sanyasahatu dukkham aptun ayogataha, aptum ayogataha, for a uh, for one who does not have karma yoga, ayogata is one who karma karma yoga taha. Ka, karma kar, ayo, a karma yoga taha. So karma yoga yoga ayoga taha is what? One who does not have karma yoga. For that kind of a person, karma yoga taha sanyasaha tu dukkham aptum bhavati. So it is sanyasa is very difficult to attain for a person who does not have karma yoga. So karma yoga has to be practiced. Only then chitta shuddhi will be there and nyasa will be possible. Otherwise without karma yoga, without chitta shuddhi one cannot withdraw at all. You cannot withdraw. Even if you withdraw, there will be rasa, rasa varjam. It will be there. Rasa will be there. And thereby sanyasa will be dukkhena aptum. Dukha, dukkham is their adverbial sense. Dukkhena. Very, with great difficulty it will be uh, possible to do nyasa. With karma yoga, it will shanei shanei. So slowly withdrawal will be possible. Shanei shanei uparamed. Elsewhere it will be said. So slowly you withdraw from everything. Stage wise, karma yoga uh, gives a beautiful uh, means to land into sanyasa with ease. Ityadinacha atma jnanam natvena karma yoga se vidhanat. Therefore, what? This is not possible for a jnani. More reasons are given. Yoga arudasya tasyeva shamak karana muchyate. Further in the sixth chapter, in dhyana yoga chapter, there will be uh, a shloka which will say, for one who is trying to do yoga and one who has achieved yoga. So, here, uh, uh, their yoga meaning is dhyana yoga. So, uh, it is not karma yoga. So, yoga arudasya, one who is practicing meditation, dhyana yoga, versus one who is trying to get to dhyana yoga. So, the first stage is all mentioned there. But what is the second stage as in the person who is, so Aruda is mounted, mounted as in, as though mounted on Dhyana, meaning he is practicing Dhyana, he is committed to Dhyana, nothing else, that's it, Nishta, uh, Shravana Manana and then Nididhyasana, Nididhyasana is uh, their Dhyana Rupa. So Yoga Arudasya, for that person who is practicing Nididhyasana, Ajnani, Atma with for him, yoga arudasya tasyeva, tasyeva kasya, one who has done karma yoga earlier, tasya, karma yoginaha, once he has attained chitta shuddhi for jnana, then jnana is attained, manana siddha it is, and then he has to take sannyasa. Therefore, yoga arudasyeva tasya eva, shamaha karana muchyate, what is the karana further for him to go further? Shamaha. Enough shama has to be there, so much shama that 
Dhamma is withdrawing from external activity, that is Nyasa. And then Shamaha, further, Uparati is also Nyasa, but Shamaha is what? He should not hold it in his mind also. Therefore, Shamaha Karana Muchate, Ityanene Cha Utpanna Samyak Darshanasya, only for a person who is Utpanna Samyak Darshana, Bhauri Utpannam Samyak Darshanam Yasya. Yasya Kasya, Yasya Jnani Naha Atmavidaha. For a person for whom Samyak Darshana has arisen, he has the right vision of the Shastras, he knows Aham Brahmasmi, thereby what? Karma Yoga Abhava Vachanat. Why Karma Yoga Abhava Vachanat? Because Shamaha Karana Uchyate. Shamaha is there, Damaha is there, how will he do Karma Yoga? He is already withdrawn. If you have withdrawn from Karma and even from the thoughts have gone from the mind about activity about any Vishaya indulgence, then how will he do Karma Yoga? Where Kartrutva Bhava has to be there, there is duality which is maintained there automatically. Here Karma Yoga Abhava Vachana is there by saying that Shama Karana Uchati has to withdraw completely. So how is Karma Yoga which is indulgence, in the form of indulgence, possible for someone for whom Shama has been taught as Karana to go further? and become a uh, Viridhyasana to become Siddha. Thereby, and it is not possible. More reasons follow. Shariram kevalam karma kurvan napnoti kilibisham iti cha sharira siti karana tirikta karmanaha nivarana. Further, what kind of karma should he be doing a jnani? Shariram kevalam karma, only maintenance of the body, so that body entrusted to the jnani through his prarabdha, does not die away. So he has to take care of the diseases like hunger and thirst. Hunger and thirst itself is a disease and further other diseases also. Shariram kevalam karma. All karma merely for the body maintenance. Nothing else. Need basis karma. And Kuruvan doing that what? Kilvisham na apnuti. He will not attain any papa because sharira has to be taken care of. That's all he is doing. No other karma. Thereby it is a Sharira Siti Karana Atirikta Se Karmana Nivarana. All karma except for hunger and thirst being satisfied, one should give up everything else. Sharira Siti Karana only. Other than that, Karmana Nivarana. All others have to be dropped. Therefore, Karma Yoga is impossible. Another reason what? Last reason he gives. Naiva Kinchit Karomiti Yukto Manyeta Tattvavit. It is going to come in the fifth chapter itself. In the eighth sloka, what is Bhagavan going to say? Kinchidna karomi iti yuktaha tattvavit manyate. One who is this yukta yogi, tattvavit who knows, not a plain yogi as in with holding on to dvaita, tattvavit who knows the reality of atma, brahmatma, he, what does he, uh, what is his manana? Naiva kinchid karo, kinchid api na eva karomi. I do not do anything. I even while doing anything, even while doing bhikshatana, even while eating food, he is not doing anything because guna guneshu vartante. I am just facilitating by my mere presence. Nothing is being done by me. Therefore, ichyanena cha sharira siti matra prayukteshu api darshana shravanadi karmasu atma yasatmi vidaha. Karomi iti pratyasya samahita chetastaya sada akar, akarta vyakto padesha. What is being said here? It, through this naiva kinchit karomi. Okay, he is being bhikshatana, fine. But is he doing shravana manana nididhyasana? Maybe he is doing shravana manana. Maybe he is doing nididhyasana. He is not doing shravana manana because that is over. Maybe he is doing manana and nididhyasana. At least that he is doing. So, Will he have a thought that aham karomi, karomi iti pratya, will it be there, this kind of pratya means that thinking. Even if he has that, that I am doing shravana, I am doing manana, I am doing nididhyasana, even if he has that, he has to withdraw from that, he has to negate that with neti neti, I am not shravana karta, I am not manana karta, I am not a, not a nididhyasana karta, even while doing it. Ityanena cha sharira sthiti matra prayukteshu api. Even if he is doing bhikshatana ityadi, but still darshana shravanadi karmasu. 
Atma Darshana and Shravana Mara Nidhyasa. Darshana is because the Brahad Mantra starts with Atma uh, Atma Vaya Drashtavya. So Drashtavya, Atma Vare Drashtavya Shrotavya, Shrotavya Mantavya Nidhyasitavya. So Shravanadi means uh, Shrotavya Mantavya Nidhyasitavya and Darshana is Atma Vare Drashtavya. So Atma has to be seen. Seen in the sense it should become pratyaksha as though the way you know yourself as this male or female as brahmanaha as uh, vaishya ityadi similarly should you that depth of feeling that you have that i know myself nobody has to tell me that i am a man i am a woman similarly that drida should be your atma darshana as i am none of this when that happens then darshana is siddha not darshana as in having sight of atma seeing some figure or seeing some chakra or seeing some light none of that none of those it is darshana is atma darshana is darshana as as deep as deep is your knowledge about your own self as a man or a woman or belonging to a particular community nobody needs to tell you it has become so dridha. Similarly, should be that deep should be your understanding of Atma Tattva as being Ashari Ityadi. And what is the means? Shravanadi. Shravanamana Nidhyasana is the means. Now, are these karmas or not? Shravana is listening to it. Listening is a karma. Then Manana thinking is a karma. Then how do you say it is not a karma? Then Nididhyasana, he is meditating, he is doing chintana, that is all karma. So even in those karmas, darshana shravanadi karmasu, atma yatha atmi vidaha, one who knows atma yatha bhavati tatha, that is yatha atmyam. How this yatha, yatha atmyam is? Yatha atmanaha bhavaha, atma yatha bhavati tatha, not any which way, it sarupa he knows and thereby atma yatha atmi vidaha, for that Atma Yata Atma with Karomi, because in this karma also Karomi Iti Pratya is there, that thinking that I am doing. Subtle, it may be subtle, but is it there? Okay, it is there. We accept that initially it is there, but what is taught in Nididhyasana? Even in that Pratya, Iti Pratya se Samahita Chetas Taya, with a concentrated mind, with a focused, composed mind, one has to do what? Sada Akartavyatta Upadesha. He has been taught. In Shravana says itself he has been taught. You are not a Karta. Then even when that Karma is going on, then Akartavyatta Upadesha is there. And due to that Upadesha that I am not a Karta even in Darshana Shravanadi Karma, then what? Atma Tattu Vidaha Samyak Darshana Viruddha Mitya Jnana Hetukah Karma Yoga Swapne Api Na Sambhavitum Shakyate Yasmat Therefore what since it is impossible for anyone to establish Sambhavitum Swapne Api even in a dream what Karma Yoga for a Atma Tattu Vit It is impossible to show because he has been taught to see himself as an akarta, meaning akarta atma, abhokta atma, ashariri atma, has asangha atma, thereby even in these, in bhikshatana and in darshana shravanadi karma, he is an akarta, thereby what? Atma tattva vidha samyak darshana viruddha, what is opposed to that samyak darshana which is taught as akarta kartavyatva, there you are teaching kartavyatva, karma yoga needs kartavyatva, Mithya Jnana Hetuhu, it is Mithya Jnana Hetu means what? Mithya Jnanam, Mithya Jnanam Hetuhu Yasya, Karma Yoga Sya, Saha Karma Yoga Mithya Jnana Hetu Kaha, that Karma Yoga which has its basis, as, what is its basis, what is the Hetu, Hetu here is in the sense of basis, Mithya Jnana, it is preceded by Mithya Jnana as uh, atasmin tadbuddhi. What in sharira I should have tadatme sambandha, thereby I will gain individuality which I already have. I don't have to gain. But karma yoga is possible only when I think myself as an individual 
who wants chitta shuddhi because it is my mind ahankara mamakara has to be there without ahankara mamakara what chitta shuddhi for which which manaha for whom it is not possible therefore swapne api sambhavetu na shakyate asma since it is not possible for anyone to establish therefore tasma anatma vit kartrukayo ho anatma vit kartrukayo ho eva sanyasa karma yogayo ho nishreya karatva vachanam therefore what only for kar, uh, only this sanyasa and karma yoga which is done by anatma vit which can be done by anatma vit anatma vit can take sanyasa anatma vit can do karma yoga jnani cannot do karma yoga sanyasa is possible as a natural effect or he takes sanyasa if he has aparoksha jnana and he wants nishta or he wants jnana for that also he can take sanyasa now nishreya sakaratva vachanam which is talked about so there are two things which bhagwan teaches one both are ubhayo both are what nishkreya nishreya sakaro both are leading to moksha one through vaya chitta shuddhi another directly after chitta shuddhi is there therefore nishreya sakaratva vachanam which has been talked about is about sanyasa and karma yoga which is applicable only to an anatma vit not to an not to an atma vit therefore one part is established as being only for anatma vit what about the second part which is karma karma sanyasa compared to karma sanyasa karma yoga is better that is also for anatma vit because karma yoga itself is not possible for a jnani tadiyacha karma sanyasa tadiyachi tadiya is what this uh, this uh, being done he is who's uh, anatma vit for a anatma vit of an anatma vit tadiyacha karma sanyasa that karma sanyasa which is being taken by sanyasa taken by an ajnani compared to that karma sanyasa पूर्वोक्त आत्मवित कर्तृक सर्व कर्म संन्यास विलक्षणा व्हाट इज दिस कर्म संन्यास दिस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सर्व कर्म संन्यास अनात्मवित कर्म अनात्मवित हु इज टेकिंग संन्यास इज कॉल्ड विविधिशा संन्यास वेदितुम इच्छा विविधिशा वन हु डिजायर्स टू नो दैट पर्सन इज एन अज्ञानी बिकॉज़ ही डिजायर्स टू नो ही डज नॉट हैव ज्ञान सो ही वांट्स टू टेक टू संन्यास his sanyasa is what karma sanyasa he has to give up his grahastha karma and then take sanyasa whereas this vidvat sanyasa is different what is that it is a jnani sanyasa he already is a jnani he is taking sanyasa for nishtha the way in grahadharnaka upanishad uh, yajnavalkya to which is purva ukta atma vit kartruka that sanyasa sarva karma sanyasa it is it is atmavit kartruka this is this sanyasa is taken by atmavit who is a sarva karma sanyasi he is already he is taking sarva karma sanyasa he is dropping all karma here uh, ek it is an ekadesha sanyasa that word is going to come it is ekadesha sanyasa for a ekadesha then he is dropping grahastha karma after dropping grahastha karma he has to take up some other karma for a sanyasi those are there so he has he does not give up all karmas he gives up the grahastha karma and then takes up some karma for uh, shravana manana vidhyasana ityadi all the jnana karmas jnana karma is subsidiary karma for jnana for a sanyasi tadiyacha karma sanyasa purvokta atmavit kartruka karma sanyasa vilakshana which is different from the sarva karma sanyasa of an atmavit sati eva kartrutva vijnane only when there is kartrutva vijnana meaning when he knows that i am a karta he thinks that he is a karta and thereby karma karma ek desha vishaya this karma sanyasa is karma ek karma ek desha vishaya it is related to it is that which has only uh, this grahastha karmas are being dropped off and then he thinks that i have more karma to do for jnana that is darshana shravanaadi karma is there 
not only that there are other karmas also but there is a it is called as ekadesha ekadesha karma so karma ekadesha vishayat yama niyama adi saitatvena cha dura uh, dura what is the other karma it is yama niyama adi saitatvena cha dura he has to follow yama niyama saita all this saita means yama and niyama had, are to be followed in sanyasa yama niyama yama niyama adi saitatvena cha dura it is difficult to follow anusthana is difficult what kind of anusha yama niyama yama is there are uh, yamas are yoga shastra says yoga shastra says there are ahimsa ahimsa satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha all these are yamas meaning yama is basically uh, it is it is all uh, nanj nanj in the sense that it is something to be uh, dropped ahimsa ahimsa should not be done that is ahimsa and then what asatya asatya means what asatya ahimsa uh, not asatya. asatya should be given up that is satya satya is not speaking the truth satya is giving up falsehood asteya Steya, one should not steal. Steal as in you should not take from someone. So again negation. It is it's not to do, not to do. That is Yama. Don't do this. It is Nisheda. Then what? Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya means you should not indulge in Kama. You should not indulge. So Brahmacharya. Celibacy. So direct meaning of celibacy. Meaning you should not indulge. Then in Kama. And Aparigraha. Aparigraha is what? Again, you should not grasp something which so you should not crave for a lot of things. You should not crave. So, Aparigraha, you should not keep on grasping things. So, you keep on collecting, planning ahead. You should not do that. All this is not possible for a Grahastha. For Grahastha, it is said, Annam Bhau Kuryat. Taitariya Upanishad says, Annam Bhau Kurvita. So, he should collect Dhanya. Because his dharma is to dana ityadi, he has to give away, he has to take care of the society, other three ashramas are to be taken care by the grastha. So how can uh, he follow? Easily it is not possible to give up everything. Thereby, yamahas are to be followed. Then niyamas are there, niyamas are some restrictions. Restrictions as in, it is not an, uh, the way yamas are there yet, nisheda. What should be done? They are vidhi, vidhi rupa. Niyamas are vidhi rupa. You do this in this manner. What are those? Shaucha. You have to follow cleanliness. External and internal cleanliness should be there. Santosha, you should be satisfied. Santosha should be there. Always happy. Happy as in at least, you know, you should be satisfied with the conditions, the way they are. Sanyasi's conditions, God knows how they are. You have to be uh, satisfied with what you get. Prarabdha, tapaha, there is a lot of tapas involved. You have to, uh, if you go for bhiksha in, to five places, you don't get bhiksha anywhere or you get very little, you have to survive on that. Then tapa has to be done, you have to, uh, there are some niyamas to be followed. That in the niyama itself, there is niyama of uh, what, what tapa has to be done. Then, so kaya shoshana mityadi should be done. You, that's how you, uh, it's not torturing. People go to an extent of torturing, not torturing. You deny yourself. So, tapah is there. Then, swadhyaya. Swadhyaya is there. Swadhyaya is there. So, swadhyaya is another niyama. Then, uh, swadhyaya is, uh, uh, so we have seen study, self-study, ityadi. In uh, Grasta Ashrama and for a Brahmachari, that swadhyaya is uh, Veda Patha. But here, that and then Ishara Pranidhana. All this can be done by Grahastha also. So, Grahastha also can do all this. However, these are difficult to follow compared to Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga is easier. There is overlap. You have to follow all these as well. It will bring better results. But then, Ishara Pranidhana Ani. So, Bhakti towards Ishara, worship of Ishara, all this is there. Compared to all of this, what has been said here, Yamaniyamadi Saitatvenacha Duranushtheyat compared to that which is difficult to follow. 
कंपेर्ड टू दैट वॉट सुकरत्वेन सुकरत्वेन च कर्मयोग से कर्मयोग है सुकर इट इज इजियर टू फॉलो यू स्टार्ट विथ कर्मयोग देन स्लोली फॉलो यम नियम देन यम नियम ऑनवर्ड देन वन चित्त शुद्धि इज देर गेट ज्ञान देन आफ्टर ज्ञान श्रवण मनन देन निधि ध्यासना फॉर दैट यू टेक संन्यास देन इट विल बी सुकर इट विल नॉट बी दुखम आप तुम योगत यू विल हैव कर्म योग सो इट विल बी इट विल नॉट बी योग अयोगत इट विल बी योगत देर फोर सुकर कर्म योग से विशिष्ट तत्वाधान इट इज बेटर इट इज बेटर विशिष्ट तत्व इज वॉट इन दैट कंपेरिजन इट इज नॉट दैट कर्म योग इज बेटर ऑलवेज फॉर एवरी वन कर्म योग इज बेटर फॉर एन अज्ञानी बिकॉज इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू फॉर हिम टू फॉलो टेक संन्यासा इवन इवन यू कैन एक्सटेंड एंड से दैट विविधिशा संन्यासा इज ऑल्सो डिफिकल्ट नॉट ओनली आई मीन इन कंपेरिजन कर्म योग इज बेटर सो इट इज सेट दैट फॉर मासेस इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग संन्यासा और विविधिशा संन्यासा इट इज बेटर टू टेक विद्वत संन्यासा because once you take sanyasa and you are not a jnani and you can't walk the path there is no return journey there is no return journey possible there is only vidhi of quitting karma you have actually in sanyasa vidhi a person does his own shraddha where is the vidhi to come back there is no possibility of coming back so knowing that risk one should not take sanyasa unless कर्म योग हैज प्रैक्टिफाइड टू चित्त शुद्धि एंड ज्ञान हैज अराइजन अदरवाइज वन टेक संन्यासा इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू फॉलो एंड वन इज नीदर हियर नॉर देर देर फोर ऑल्सो यू कैन से कर्म योग इज बेटर टू फॉलो दैन टेक संन्यासा सो ज्ञान सहित एंड ज्ञान रहित संन्यास हैज टू बी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड एंड हियर कर्म योग इज बेटर देन ज्ञान रहित संन्यासा It is not better than jnana sahita sanyasa because jnana sahita sanyasa has there is no possibility of karma yoga at all there. Therefore, he says, sukaratte na cha karma yoga sya vishesh tattva abhidhanam kasya karma yoga sya. Iti evam prativachana vakyaartha nirupane na api and with an answer in this manner through that answer what one if you analyze that answer through the analysis. of the answer given to uh, arjuna in the second shloka purvokta prashtu abhiprayah nischiyate iti sthitam so what is established is that what we have analyzed and established that what is the prashtu abhiprayah what is arjuna intending when he is asking that between the two which is better you tell me this is known even from the answer as to answer he is that karma yoga is superior to sanyasa and what kind of sanyasa jnana rahita sanyasa and the reasons are mentioned here it will be analyzed again later but since we have seen this we are not going to see the bhashya there so here itself he gives a hint as to what kind of sanyasa is set to be uh, set to be an option one should not take in comparison to karma yoga and thereby karma yoga becomes superior then in the third chapter itself uh, arjuna had asked jaye si chet karmanaste so sangati bhashya is over uh, i mean uh, the uh, upodghata of the third chapter four fifth chapter but sangati to this will uh, will not be the shloka will do the sangati because it is in continuation जायसी चेत कर्मणस्ते इत्यत्र ज्ञान कर्मणो सह संभवे यक्षरे तयो तद्ब्रूही इत्येवं पृष्टः अर्जुनेन भगवान सांख्यानां सन्यासिनां ज्ञानयोगेन निष्ठा पुनः कर्मयोगेन योगिनां निष्ठा प्रोक्ता इति निर्णयं चकार सो इट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन असर्टेड अर्लियर इन द थर्ड चैप्टर व्हाट वाज एनालाइज्ड देयर एंड व्हाट हैज व्हाट वाज डन देयर Jayasi chet karmanaste. Arjuna is asking in the third chapter opening as to, Hey Bhagwan, he is telling is Krishna, if te tava mate karmana ha jayasi chet. If compared to karma, jnana is better. 
then why are you pushing me into this aghora karma ghora sorry not aghora karma why are you pushing me into this ghore karmani ityatra jnana karmano sah sambhavi and what has been shown there both are not possible jnana karma are not possible and you think that jnana is better than karma huh? then why do you push me into karma that to ghora karma निष्ठा He has said, for Sankhya, Sanyas is, Nishtha is through Jnana Yoga. The commitment is Jnana Yoga. Punaha, on the other hand, what? Karma Yoga, Yogi Naam, Nishtha Prokta. He has shown commitment for Yogi through Karma Yoga. Commitment Nishtha is actually commitment to something. Nishtha, abidance in what? Abidance for Yogi is through Karma Yoga. So, Prokta, it has been taught, Iti Niranayam Chakara. So, it has already been ascertained in that manner, in the third chapter itself, that both are different. And both, Jnana Karma no Saha Sambhavi, it has also shown that Jnana Karma Samuchya is not possible there. So, one of the two has to be done. And from what Arjuna listened to and understood in the second chapter is, Jnana is amazing. As if jnana is shreya, it is going to lead to moksha. Thereby he says that jayasi chet karmanas te you compare to karma, jnana is better, it is shreyas karaha. Why do you push me into this ghora karma? You tell me which is better. Ya shreya eta yo ho tad gruhi. Bhagavan started explaining both again. As in he has talked about jnana in the second chapter. In the third chapter he talked about karma yoga elaborately. He said this is also good. He is telling the sthiti, how things are. He is telling facts to Arjuna and then he is telling, you should know where you stand. But then he was not sure. So in the fifth chapter again he asked, therefore, na cha sanya sana deva kevala siddhim samadhi gachyati. Therefore, Bhagavan has even given, hinted to him. And what has he said? Although, I have told you Jnana is good in the second chapter, so is Karma Yoga. And in the fifth chapter he is saying, he is going to say that both are Nishreya Sakaro, Uhau. And in the third chapter he has said, Nacha Sanya Sana Deva Kevala Siddhim Samadhi Gachyati. One does not get Siddhi only through Sanyasa. As in, if a person does not have Jnana, Sanyasa is not going to do anything for you and not only not going to do anything for you, it may present difficulties, great difficulties. Because there is no path to come back again. The karta does not exist anymore because you have burnt his chita as though figuratively. You have done a shraddha also. But that is the, uh, that's the dharma reason. But other than that also, he, it is great it is very difficult because he is neither here nor there. Iti vachanat jnana saitasya siddhis sadhanattam ishtam. What kind of sannyasa is, is good? Jnana saita. Jnana siddhi sadhanattam. What? Siddhi sadhanattam. What will fructify into siddhi, moksha? Jnana saita sannyasa. That is really shreya. Therefore, karma yoga sicha and third chapter, Karma Yoga has been taught elaborately. Karma Yoga is such a Vidhanath. It has been taught and thereby Jnana Rahitasya Sanyasa Shreyan Kimva Karma Yoga Shreyan Although Nacha Sanyasana Deva Kevalat Siddhim Samadhi Gachyati has been said, Arjuna is still hooked on to Sanyasa and he says that he has a selective memory as well. Arjuna forgets all this which was said but then he says that I am confused because I have asked you a specific question. Yachre etoyo tadbruhi. In fact, Arjuna should not be faulted. Bhagavan Krishna has not told him 
Etayoho Tadbri, you tell me which one among the two that he has not told him yet that you do this. He has just told him which is better than the other in terms of uh, a qualified person. Now, if the person has jnana, let him take sannyasa. If he does not have jnana, then let him not take kevala sannyasa, jnana rita sannyasa. Now, he is putting the choice in Arjuna's hand because Bhagavan does not want to tell him that you do this, you do that. He, his is not that job. He is saying that I am telling you the facts as they stand. Now, you choose. But Arjuna is bent on asking as to you tell me what is what to do. Uh, he is confused. He says that he is Shoka Moha Grasta. Therefore, he says Jnana Rahitasya Sanyasa Shreyan Kimva Karma Yoga Shreyan Iti Etayo Vishesha Bhubhutsaya. Now, he has a specific inquiry. He wants to know specific, uh, he wants to know the answer to the specific question. Jnana Rahita Sanyasa Shreyaha or Karma Yoga Shreya, Shreyan. Pullinga, therefore Shreyan, which is better? You tell me whether Sanyasa without Jnana is better or Karma Yoga. This has been answered, but his question comes back because he is asking specifically for himself now. You tell me for me and thereby Arjuna Uvacha will see the Shloka in the next Patha and will continue with the Anvaya Ityadi in our document. Om Tat Sadam Shanti 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 Any questions? I have a question. Okay. It is well established that both Sanyasa and Karma Yoga is for an Anatma with only, not for a Jnani. Okay. The Jnani continues to be in Sanyasa as he, chosen, he has chosen this lifestyle for pursuing this knowledge at the cost of everything itself. Um, she continues to be in sannyasa, meaning he has taken sannyasa and then he got jnana. That's what I assume. Other possibility, he had jnana and then he took to sannyasa. In either case, he, he continues in sannyasa, pursuing the knowledge at the cost of everything itself. Uh, at the cost of everything itself, meaning at the cost of karma, and karma phala, he does not want anything. It is not at the cost of everything. In fact, he has got everything. He is krita kritya. So, it is not at the cost of everything. It is, uh, it is that for which he has taken janma and the uh, pursuit across janmas is for that. So, he has got that. He is krita kritya. Then, is it possible for such a jnani to lead a grahastha lifestyle? See, honestly, it is not possible. So, if you are talking about... So, See, he continues to be in sannyasa and possible to be in grahastha are contradictory. Either he is a sannyasi or he is not a sannyasi. If he is not a sannyasi, then he takes to sannyasa automatically. If he doesn't, then we have seen for some reason he is unable to take and there, is, there can be many reasons. I have mentioned this, but generally unfit for sannyasa in terms of physically unfit. He cannot do bhikshatana. He, uh, all these can be there, health reasons can be there, dependents are there, but then Shastra does not permit him to take sannyasa because for a grahastha his uh, spouse does not allow, wife does not allow, uh, she is attached, she does not want him to. So, uh, the permission of a wife for a grahastha is necessary as per Dharma Shastra for him to take sannyasa. Unless he is an Atyashrami, uh, like a madman, he may just walk out, he does not know his Sharira itself, so let alone the wife. So, in those cases it is possible, but otherwise Shastra does not permit. For a Brahmachari, the mother has to permit. Even if the father does not permit, the Shastra says mother has to permit, otherwise one cannot take Sanyasa. So, these rules a person is bound by, thereby he cannot take Sanyasa. Other reasons may be there. But uh, I don't want to go into those because most of the other reasons, personally I feel they are bogus. Uh, in any case, for a person who has jnana, I mean, for a one who does not have jnana, all reasons are valid. Then, is it possible for a jnani to lead a grahastha lifestyle? So, uh, there are modern uh, Vedantins who say that it is possible. Personally, I don't think so. And from Bhagavan Bhashyakara's perspective, definitely impossible. He says that. In so many words, and if you study the Aitariya Upanishad, study the Bhashya, initial Upodhata, there is a specific question. I have mentioned this in this very part. Huh? 
that it is not possible for a jnani to continue in grihastha ashrama. He is very specific there. He says that it is not possible. That is the only place where I have seen Bhagavan Bhashyakara has elaborately said that a jnani cannot remain in grihastha ashrama. Now people say, you know, people dilute by saying that uh, Bhagavan Bhashyakara is a sannyasi, therefore he has a tilt towards sannyasa. It is a bias. I do not agree with such analysis. I think that analysis itself is uh, has uh, something, uh, it, it is a perspective by which uh, they want to dilute it for a specific reason. I do not want to go in those reasons also. It is uh, left for you to interpret. Are there any uh, such examples of persons apart from King Janaka which is quoted of? So, there are a couple of Rajas themselves, but there also the idea is quite different. Uh, there is a charcha on whether Kshatriyas, especially kings, whether they have Adhikara in Sanyasa and what kind of sannyasa, should they take sannyasa. So, there is an elaborate discussion in Vyakhyanas uh, and where the mind of Bhagavan Bhashyakara is, that is analyzed there. So, there are varying opinions as to uh, whether uh, Kshatriya kings should take sannyasa or not even after Jnana, that is one question. Uh, so, uh, without Jnana definitely they should not take, with Jnana there is varied opinion. As for examples, I do not think there are examples. King Janaka is often quoted, but even King Janaka we have seen is questioned by Bhagwan Bhashyakara. He is questioned as to whether he was really a jnani when he was a king or uh, and he says that he agrees that Loka Sangrahartam possible, but otherwise it is also possible that he was doing it for Chitta Shuddhi and we have seen that as uh, taught by Bhagwan Krishna to Arjuna, you decide as to who you are, whether you want to do it. If you are a jnani, do it for Loka Sangra. If you are not, not a jnani, then do it for Chitta Shuddhi. So, thereby Karma Yoga is enforced by uh, Bhagavan Krishna on Arjuna's mind. Enforced because he knows. Bhagavan Krishna did not ask him, what do you think you are? He knows very well. But he still gives a choice to uh, Arjuna because the choice has to come from him. It should not be forced upon. It should be taught and then even at the end of the Gita, Bhagavan uh, Krishna tells him, uh, Yatha Yogyam Tatha Kuru, uh, Yatha Ichyasi Tatha Kuru, Yatha Ichyasi Tatha Kuru, you do the way you desire. So, this is left as a choice, whether a person has to continue in Grahastha, but a person has to question uh, as to, uh, as long as a person is able to analyze, uh, it's better to stay in Grahastha lifestyle. Uh, because, see, Jnana, Aparoksha Jnana, when it takes place and it is of that order, that Nishtha is needed. Because Nishtha is not possible in Grahastha Ashrama. It is not possible uh, and the cases we know, uh, people have walked out because, in, in fact, Bhagwan Bhashyagara says that even at the first glimpse, one has to walk away because it is a natural result. In Aitari Upanishad, he says that it is a natural result. There is nothing else to do. In fact, uh, the verse I did this morning in uh, Viveka Chudamani also, there Bhagavan Vyakhyanagara says, it is, there is nothing else to do. What else is there to do? This is the Atmanishta alone is, alone remains to be done. Meaning there is nothing else to do. It is also to, to be done. And can a person do that in Grahastha Ashrama or in any Ashrama? Need not be Grahastha Ashrama. Is it possible for anyone to do Nishtha? This is a question that each one has to answer for oneself. Because if it is, some may say, I, I have Nishtha which is possible. Whether you are really answering yourself uh, as a fact or it is a logic of convenience is, uh, other cannot know. A person can know only oneself. Whether I have Jnana is known to myself. Whether I am having Nishtha after Jnana and nothing is blocking me is also left to oneself. So, that I will not comment on. It is left to an individual to decide. But my personal opinion is that it is not possible in any ashrama other than sannyasa. Today, the unfortunate part is in sannyasa also it is not possible because sannyasa is joining an ashram and joining an ashram has ashrama duties. Then there are, I have seen people who are questioning as to as better off at home. So, thereby in today's society, it is difficult to answer this kind of a question. But sannyasa is automatic. Sannyasa is automatic and that level 
where there is no thinking of what I will do, what I will not do, there the sannyasa is vikshatana, nothing else, vikshatana, we have seen here, a person who thinks that he is ready for vikshatana, whether he gets viksha or not, prarabdhaya samarpitam sohapu, he does not have to think, the sannyasa is automatic. Otherwise, others are like, you know, it's, it's questionable sannyasa. So, long answer, I hope that helps. Anyone else? Anything else? Okay, I'll see you in the next part, Adhan. There is nothing. Namaste.